About four years ago, my son and I bought a pair of old Kawasaki X2 jet skis. And since then, we've been modifying them, having a blast with them over the summers. This one on this side is my son's. It's 93. When we bought it, it was in about the shape it is right now. It's in real good stock shape. He likes the looks of it, the way everything's set up, so we haven't messed with it much. Mine, so over here, it's a 92 model. It was a little more beat up, so we've done some custom work on it that I'll go through. One of the first things we did was, you see how the back of this one has the plastic trim around all this. Mine was all falling off. So I cut the back end back just far enough to get rid of the bolt holes. And then on both of them, we shaved the sides down. They used to be squared off. We cut those down, keep you from uh, whacking yourself on the squared off part since mine was, like I said, was busted. We added uh, bilge pumps to both of them and the first addition was the handlebar assemblies. When we got them, they had the stock plastic covered, weird looking tilt steering handlebars. So we took those off. I uh, turned some spacers to go in there to raise the steering up a little bit. And then we put, this is actually part of the stock steering that I cut off and mounted onto those bars. And then we put dirt bike bars on them. And that's been really nice. It's really fun to ride with it that way. These also didn't have kill switches, so I got some kill switches off a, I think that was off a Polaris of some kind. So now we have lanyard on both of them, so they don't just circle and run around on their own if you fall off. Like I said, we added a bilge pump to both of them. Uh, the body work I've done to mine, see they use stock they have the fuel filter under the nose with a little cover my cover was gone and broken well it was broken it wasn't gone we did have it the little piece that hooks it on was broken so i turned it into an internal fill so we fill it directly in the gas tank on the inside and filled in that whole section up front where the uh, original gas cap was and then on the hood, you can see how his comes up and then blends into this piece here. And then on back to the seat. Oh. That's the trim knob. And I took the trim off mine because after running it for about a year, I never moved the trim. And it was just a lot of stuff that I didn't want on there. So I cut this section down, and put some padding there, blended it into the seat. And then for about a year, I still had the hump up here like his does. So then the summer before last, I went and shaved that completely off and leveled it all out. Gave it a more streamlined look, which I like quite a bit better. I put new, uh, this is like floor mat that you can get at Harbor Freight. And it works really good. It's cheap. You just cut it and glue it in. Use the same thing up here. I tried yoga mat the first year, and yoga mat feels good on your feet, but once it gets wet, it is just slick as snot. So don't recommend yoga mat. Davis's has still got the factory bumper on the front. Mine was coming apart, so I took it off. Filled in the holes around this. Kit looks pretty good. When we got them, the uh, drive line was making a little bit of noise. So we took the pumps off, put new bearings in the pumps, got a new, the Davis still had the original aluminum impeller. We got a stainless impeller for his, put that in, did the uh, drive shaft support bearing and the pump bearing on both of them. They, that made them a lot better, but they still sounded a little, a little noisy. So then a couple of years ago, we took the motors apart and both motors needed crank bearings. And since these were the factory 650s, we took them completely apart and uh, pressed the crank apart, put new bearings on both. 
And after pressing the crankcase or the crankshaft completely apart, we put in new ball bearings all through it, and that quieted them right down. It wasn't too difficult getting the bear, the cranks lined back up when you're pressing them together, but it was definitely about the limit of what a 12-ton press will do. But we got them done. They both worked good. Everything on them was well within the 2000s run out that's uh, the spec for it. One other thing I did was when I changed this to top fill, you fill it right here. That's where the normal pickup tube is. Well, I moved the pickup tubes up in the front where it generally had the filler neck. The problem with that is the filler neck actually acts as a support for the tank to keep it from moving around. So that just left the two rubber straps, and I guess they bounce around a little bit. So what I did is stacked up some foam and put it right there, and you can see the indention there. That presses down on the gas cap when you latch the hood, and that keeps everything nice and solid in place. We did put external fuel pumps on them because uh, parts for the factory carburetors for the fuel pump were pretty, well, they were more expensive to rebuild it than just get a whole new pump and mount it external. But it's about all. Still got the stock uh, water box up there, stock pipes. They're 650s. They run pretty good. The oil injection is removed. They're all pre-mixed now. We didn't bother to put flame arresters or anything like that on it they do run pretty dang good the way they are so that's the custom changes mine got some paint obviously from doing the body work his has got some scuffs on the graphics but other than that it still looks great they are a blast i've had stand-ups before and this was a nice uh, kind of crossover between a full stand-up and a set down they handle good, and you, you can ride them most of the time standing up, but you can still sit down if you want to, and it's not terribly uncomfortable. We've never tried uh, riding them too up. Haven't really seen any reason to, because they had a, up under here, they had a whole instruction pa panel, a vinyl graphic under there on how to mount these things too up. You had to do it a very certain way, or you'd never get going on them. They're fun to ride, We've really enjoyed them the last few years.